Dr. Chris here and in today's super fast GIS video I'm going to show you how to make a hexagon map within ArcGIS Pro. I'm going to try to be as concise and exact as I possibly can in the shortest amount of time. So here we go. Go. Here we are in ArcGIS Pro and I've got all the features from my previous super fast GIS videos and in this video I'm going to create two types of hexagons, one being polygon hexagons and the other one being point hexagons. I'm going to start off by creating the polygon hexagons using tessellation. Here we go. All right, I go down to geoprocessing. We're going to search tessellation generate tessellation. I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call this hexagon, just in case in the future we do something else. I'm going to make the extent, the visible extent, otherwise it can make really big files. So let's just go current display extent type of is a hexagon. The size I'm going to want in square kilometers. Now I've already tested this. So I'm going to do 0. Oh, 0. 0.25 square kilometers. The spatial reference automatically filled in. I'm going to run it. The polygons have been generated. I'm going to change the symbology. Oh, look at that. I'm going to change the symbology. I'm just going to make it empty, really, so we can see all the way through. I'm now going to use my square buffers that I created in a previous video, and I'm going to use those to select polygon objects on my polygon tessellation. So I'm going to go over to Map, Select by Location, Tessellation, Generate Tessellation Hexagon. Selecting feature is my square buffers. These hexagons are now selected. I'm going to actually now turn those hexagons into points by using a geoprocessing tool called feature to point. Feature to point. I'm going to turn the selected tessellation hexagons into points. I'll put feature, I'm going to call points and inside. I now have point features that I'm going to turn into hexagons. So I'm going to go over to my generated tessellation hexagon points. I'm going to turn that symbology into I'll go to properties. I'm going to turn them into hexagons. I'm going to get rid of the, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of the outline. I'm going to make the size kind of big because I think, let's see, I'm going to try 25. Let's say 25. Ooh, nice and big, nice and big. Since I'm dealing with jellyfish, should have called them jellies, I'm going to put the symbology of the jellyfish within these points. So I'm going to go up here to structure. I'm going to add a marker layer. I'm going to go back to layers. I'm going to make sure the layer is selected. I'm going to go to file and I'm going to place in my jellyfish.svg and I'm going to apply. Now I've got hexagon point features with jellyfish symbology. I'm going to go back to the contents of my map. I'm going to make the jellyfish disappear, clear my selection. I'm going to go even a little more complex here. I'm going to use my line features and create more hexagon point features by doing another select by location, the hexagons. The selecting feature is my jellyfish connectors. I've spatially selected polygons based on my line feature. I'm going to go back to point to feature. I'm going to change the name of this hexagon points. I'm going to call it points lines. Hopefully it doesn't get too confusing. I'm going to run that. I'm not going to change those points into hexagons. I'm going to go generate over. I'm going to go over to the points here, symbology, click on symbol. I'm going to change out the symbol for a hexagon. I'm going to change. I don't like the width. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the size about 30. I'm going to make the color, oops, I'm going to make the, yeah, the color red. I'm going to apply. I'm going to go back to contents. I'm going to drag those underneath my jellyfish hexagon points. I'm going to get rid of the connector. I'm going to get clear. And then I'm going to turn off my world imagery. I'm going to turn off my buffer. And there we go. I'm going to make actually the, make that a little bit bigger. And there you have it, a super fast hexagon map in ArcGIS Pro. Before I go, make sure you check out my website, geographicinformationsuccess.com. Sign up to my newsletter. Also, check out my book, Permissionless GIS, double your GIS job interviews now. Also, check out my Teespring store. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.